Hello everybody and welcome back to Binding of Isaac Rebirth with me, Penta Hybrid, on the Xbox One. Today we're going to be doing another challenge, we're going to be doing the Highbrow Challenge, because it's on our list of challenges we've done so far, probably the next easiest. Highbrow Challenge, our seed for the Highbrow Challenge is TPCQ KT98. TPCQ KT98. Oh how priceless. This is a poopy run. This is actually like a, this is the poopy run. It's called highbrow because lowbrow is usually called toilet humor. Uh, it's a pun or it's a play on the words of highbrow, lowbrow, whatever. But it's so hilarious that this is not this is not scripted at all, as you can tell, because I just clicked a new run. But TP being the first two letters of our seed for this run, I don't know if that's intentional by Edmund or Tyrone, but TP being the first two letters of our seed on a poopy run is so good. On this run, we start with flush which is an activated item every six rooms we can turn every item every enemy excuse me in the room into poop uh, defenseless poop at that we also start with butt bombs E. coli and number one this is actually a really easy run uh, some people have trouble with it because well a lot of people don't like number one but I personally love number one because uh, I'll take a tier stat upgrade over most things it's my favorite stat next to damage. And we start with butt bombs, which is a great means of uh, defense in a tight situation. Uh, seeing as we don't get uh, treasure rooms or item rooms, we might as well just go right for it. Go right for Duke of Flies here. That tier stat is going to chew him into pieces. And are we gonna get little? Uh, I was gonna say little baggy. Mom's coin purse. So we'll use all of these. Are you a wizard? A metamesis, kind of a pointless pill at this point. Health down is really bad. Uh, health down actually almost makes it worth it to go right to the curse room. Remember, we can flush at any opportunity. So we'll flush here, and you can see they turn into poop. Defenseless poop at that, so they just die. They don't no longer count as enemies. Uh, waiting for number one to go away. There it is. Waiting for number one to go away. What an idiot. Oh, we should just teleport out of here. I don't want to fight Envy. I don't. I don't think anything he could possibly drop is worth it. Even if he drops his number one prize, it's still not worth it, because his number one prize is frickin' shoop de whoop Considered by me to be the worst item in the game. Like, one of- not the worst item in the game. But, it, it's probably on my top ten worst items in the game. Okay, there's equal eye affecting. We don't even have a curse room. So we're gonna bomb into this apparent secret room? There it is. And because we just got more bombs, we're gonna bomb some of these lovely stacks of mushrooms and hope for nothing so we're gonna bomb out because laziness yay laziness uh, we only have four pennies so shop is not worth it we will continue onward onward I don't remember if this one just goes to mom I, I should have paid attention on that screen but I didn't because why not Okay, we're going to put it here. Okay, that was almost a dumb thing that I did. I wasted a bomb and a half. I'm overusing my bombs. I realize for the highbrow challenge, you're not technically supposed to use them that much. Monkey's paw is so good. This is better, though. See, now that's why we have butt bombs for this challenge, is because they actually damage... Yeah, we have... Okay. Ah, it's the store. I was hoping this would have been the, uh... We'll hang on to that. Arcade chance. Possibly. We will go down and unlock the other thing. Possibly being... Oh, I mean, hopefully being something delicious. Library. How to jump. Alright, uh... The question here is how to jump better than flush. I believe it is. We are taking the metagame to a new level here. 
we are avoiding this challenge by getting rid of one of the items you start with. And one of the signature items for this challenge we're going to get rid of in exchange for what I believe to be a much better item. We're fighting Monstro. Of course we're going to be fighting Monstro. That was, that was weak. Weak play on me. I'm sick of saying poor play, because it wasn't poor play. Most of the stuff I do isn't poor play, it's weak play. It was me knowing, knowing that that shouldn't have been done, and yet I did it. Same with the uh, red flies, the red attack flies that uh, shoot double to like a V tier, like the Harlequin Baby tier. Ooh, plus that. Ooh, this was a great boss, boss get. And it was even a great. So if we take both, we will leave. Oh, how to jump. You're so good, though. So I'll give us a black heart. We'll end up. For the sake of the run, we keep jump. I I know, I know it's probably bad, but for the sake of the run, we keep jump. If we can manage, because we have no treasure rooms, so if we can manage to jump our way over to, like, golden poops or hidden items, it would definitely be worth it. Besides, you know, curse rooms are... Well, we can't see our health on this. This is going to be awkward. Do. 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 How to Jump was a great new addition to the game. It's one of my... It's next to, like... It's hard to rank it next to, like, Satanic Bible and Book of Revelations as good books, but... Because most people will be like, I can't believe you have it there. I'm going to go on to Isaac Ranks and figure out where How to Jump is on there. Because it's it's one of my favorite books in the game. Got another key that will give us shop at precedent. Or not precedent, uh, shop priority. Assuming we don't have an arcade spawn already. If we don't have an arcade spawn already, I'm just going to keep my pennies for the arcade possibility. See? Oh my god, what did I just say? What did I just say, dudes? Oh. But Penta Hybrid Guppy will give you flight. Yeah, well, but Guppy needs three items. Jump is one item. Oh, yes. Sweet baby. Money. Shop now holds priority over everything. What did I say? What did I say? Oh. Oh. Ho. You know, I love being right. I love being right so much, it tastes so good. Even though I'm not right against anybody else because I'm technically arguing with a microphone right now, but it's all in the good for entertainment. Those are indeed much better. So this run is going fairly well, I'd say. I'd say. It, it, it was going fairly well, I'd say. Where's that shop? Okay, we can do this. Give us access to all of this. Shop. 20 pennies, oh, humbling bundle, and a soul heart. Because you guys thought I was doing something stupid by taking that, you know? Oh, God. The any other time that Tammy's head would show up, it would be worth it, but right now, Tammy's head is not worth it. Because the chances of us getting brimstone are so, so slim right now. I really wish I had a freaking. I should have jumped there. I know I have equal eye, but I should have jumped there. I'm gonna do this. And the maws. How did I not kill that maw? How did I not kill that maw? That maw should be dead. That maw should be dead, dead. Daddy should be. Oh, and the humbling bundle. Oh, the humbling bundle. See, Tammy's head is so good. It is so good. And I don't don't mean that as like a, oh, it's just a good idea. It is so good. But to make Tammy's head worthwhile over something as good as jump right now, you need to have a decent synergy already when you take it. 
And clearly we do not have a good synergy with that, because number one is a bad, bad synergy with Tammy's head. Because it's a damage downgrade. First and foremost, it's a damage downgrade. So Tammy's head tiers are going to be doing just as much as our tiers here, and as you can see, we're taking, what, two hits to kill a mini poop? Kill a dip? I know we don't have petrified poop anymore, but it's still worth it to break him because of that. Uh, we didn't go in there yet, so we are going to go in there. That'll get rid of our black heart, and this was totally worth it as long as we get a soul heart. At least one soul heart. Oh, guppy item. Yes! We're two ways to becoming guppy. I can't see my health, otherwise... Do we have two soul... Do we have two heart containers or one? We have one, I believe. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm, I'm gonna be really mad if we end up having two. I'm gonna be really mad if we end up having two. So, super secret room is not gonna be accessed. Other? I know they can't hurt themselves anymore, like in vanilla. If they can hurt each other, that's awesome, though. Okay, so we got the halo. So that is a health up. Oh, do we do it? Do we go back and grab Guppy's paw and get one charge out of it? Because we at least have one heart container. But the question is, do we still have that soul heart there? It's worth it. It is. I'm sorry. This is totally worth it. It's a, it's a game changer that I'm going to go for. I'm going to use it once. I'm going to take jump. And we're going to leave. We're going to try and pick up a red heart. That half red heart that we got from the boss room. And if we can't get it... We can't get it. Alright, we're still safe. Oh wait, what am, I, what am I thinking? We got three soul hearts from Guppy's Paw. Let's find out. Oh, we had two! We had two Architators! Oh, so sad. And once again, what did I say? Jump. Health down. Are you a wizard? And balls of steel, immediately worth it. We're actually gonna take Hematomesis. This can save us. Good diver, how does Hematomesis save you? All it does is get rid of your health. Yeah, but when you have low health like I do, it's actually a really good item. People don't understand the trick of how to jump. How to jump, you have to get momentum. Alright, seeing as we already have shields, we're gonna hope for Guppy. Which, yes, theoretically, if we ended up be if, if we end up becoming Guppy, I made the right choice. But I'm not gonna gloat about me making the right choice about taking jump over Guppy's head. On any normal playthrough, like if I was just doing a regular run in game, of course I'd take Guppy's head. But during this challenge, actually, I can't even say that. I, I I like how to jump. I don't come across it very much. I like how to jump. I'm not, I I can't be at fault for that. It's a great item. It's it's your it's your equivalent to getting flight without having flight. So if you can't get like transcendence, or if you can get guppy, or any of the stuff that gets you flight, how to jump is a very viable playstyle. That was dumb. Is it better? Is it better than any other activated item you could find? Some. Not all, but some, yes. Would I much rather have Book of Revelations? I don't know. I don't know. Book of Revelations has kind of lost its charm from vanilla. Damn it. Oop. All about that momentum, fellas. Kill the evil fires just in case. Ooh. Wow, 
this was a silly room. I've killed I've killed all of them without them si firing a single tear at me. Where did all of our hearts go? Oh yeah, duh. Poop, give me money. Oh god, you know the, what's one thing I was really hoping for? Uh, uh, ah, we did the uh, hope for the arcade. We don't need anything there. Don't need a damn thing. But we will go over here. Isaac versus Wrath. This is the first time I fought Wrath in Rebirth. Or on the Xbox One, at least. Da, 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 da. Why is the Hyrule theme temple stuck in my head? Hyrule temple theme, not theme temple. I can words. I can words. I know how to verbiage. This was a dumb choice. This was immediately a bad choice. I don't like this room. Ooh, I can use those iframes. I can use them iframes against him. Dark one. Ah, eh, not a bad boss fight. Not a simple one or it's a it's a it's a welcome challenge. I'll take the I'll take the, I'll take Dark One. Am I good against Dark One? Not as good as I am against Fallen. Fallen is just stupid easy though. Oh that was I, I saw him prepare for the the, the tear attack and I, I I was seeing things. So what challenge, let's just let's just ask the question, what challenge on Rebirth did you think was going to be really easy and ended up proving to be, well, lack of a better term, quite challenging? For me it was Pitch Black. Pitch Black was one of my uh, personal least favorite challenges to do. I, per I, I, I honestly had a harder time doing Pitch Black than I did doing Cat Got Your Tongue and Solar System. At least I got my accidental heart taken away, which is unfortunate as balls. I meant to push the bomb into it and I ended up hurting myself, which could end up ruining our devil odds. I mean, it did ruin our devil odds, but I mean, we. Ah, that could. Ah. You're not using, you're not using butt bombs all the time, man. What's going on? Why aren't you using butt bombs? You got butt bombs. Why don't you use butt bombs? I got one simple phrase for you, because butt bombs are not sad bombs. Sad bombs are so good. Oh god, my nose is starting to run. It's weird. I don't like it. I hate that feeling. Ah, damn it, Greed. I wanted to blow my nose. And you showed up. so much money and we're gonna be able to get one more shop oh god give me a good shop all right excuse me one second I'm gonna blow my nose and take a quick drink mm. silky fresh a little clogged up this more uh, this afternoon kind of weird that was dumb that was terrible damage bye bye soul hearts can't complain about the fucking Necronomicon effect happening, or the missing page effect happening, but I can complain about my dumbass taking damage. So what are we gonna do? Not Nothing, because we got that. We gotta say, what are we gonna do? We're gonna, if we take one more bit of damage, we're gonna hemetamesis and heal ourselves. 
Don't need to because we took that. Uh, 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 the gate. Son of a bitch. Fucking gate. Why are we taking one hit? Why are we taking a whole fort? <gasps> I picked it up. I made it in time. Ah, no double deal. That means curse room. Curse room means possible guppy. I love my guppy. I'm here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm here. turned into a bony. I didn't realize he... Ah, he turned into a bony. I repeated myself because I'm a classy citizen. Tinted rock, tinted rock, tinted rock, tinted rock. Skull! Give me black heart. Yeah! I like it when it gives me what I want. You know what I don't like? When it gives me what I want. Because I would have actually much rather had a joker card. <laughs> didn't realize what I was asking for. I asked too soon. If you... Of course. Ja. No! What did I say? Ooh, I love when he gives me what I'm asking for. Choke him! Krampus. Butt bombs. Butt bombs. Butt bombs. Pew. Butt bomb. Pew. Wait. Pew. Oh, shit, dicks. Mm -hmm. Krampus, Gah. Gah. not good. Not good. Bad item. Bad item. He gave me what I wanted twice in a row, and then he just pooped on my dreams by taking away my lump of coal. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And move. Uh, fweep. 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 Gotta get the correct amount of momentum. Fweep. How did I not take damage? against Krampus there. I have to rewatch that area of the footage because I swear I got hit by his frickin' brimstone. And yet I took no damage. I'm just realizing that now. <gasps> Empress, that's actually really good. These are also really good. I will always blow up skulls. Strength is... Ooh. Ooh. Strength is probably better than Empress. If we get a devil deal... We don't get a devil deal. We just got our devil deal. What am I thinking? Ah, you fucking pony. Yeah, I'm fucking bony. Fagging bony. Yeah. Oh, you dicks. Use it. Oh shit! Shit! Oh shit! I made the best out of a bad situation. Making the best out of a good situation. Or a bad situation. I have no bombs left. Give me two of hearts, actually. Another Joker card. And the butter bean? The fucking Butterbean? Oh, game. I'm not even a fan of you right now. That's just rude. That is just straight up rude. 
That's the rudest thing I've ever happened, had happen to me in a game. We fought greed, right? Ooh, but we did get this. So now we can curse room. I'm making this challenge last a lot longer than I need it to be. We still have a whole floor left to do. <laughs> Guppy. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about getting flies. Not gonna complain about getting flies. Not gonna complain about getting flies. You wanna see what Butterbean does? This is Butterbean. Yep, that is th that is the worst item in the game. I guarantee it. it is. It will never, ever, 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 ever move up from rank zero on Isaac ranks. Worst items in the game. Where the hell is our secret room? Our super secret room is probably he can't be there. Holy shit! Where's our super secret room? Ah, it's probably all the way down by that challenge room. I'm making this challenge lasts longer than it should, but I want to win. There's our arcade. Finally it friggin' spawned. Open for soul hearts. Keys will work. Money will work. Actually, this is just perfect, because now I can... Utilize Humbling Bundle. Possibly get bombs. Give me bombs. There we go. Bombs. Bombs. Bombas. Give me. I want ten bombs before I leave. Humble bundle, that should be not an issue. I gotta take it to too. There we go, bombs. Got a pretty fly. Got a not so pretty fly. Bombas. Oh shit! Ah, eight bombs. It's close to ten. Use it. Speed up. Good. Rosary bead, you're actually proving to be quite useless. I haven't gotten a single freaking soul heart drop from you. Out of all those hearts that dropped in here, even. Uh, we Joker card right away? Or do we save it and see what we get in the rest of the floor? I, I, I tried to fucking... No momentum. I didn't get any momentum. I tried to I tried to jump. I didn't have the momentum I needed, though. Uh, we don't have to worry about taking damage, because we already guaranteed a devil deal with our Joker card. I hope I'm giving people a greater appreciation for the How to Jump book. I really do, because it's one of my favorite items in the game. It's so cheap. It's so, so cheap as an item. But that's the tactics of the game. You need to be tactical. You gotta have strategy. And How to Jump is one of my favorite strategies. Dweet. Dweet. Uh, we should just butt bombs. Didn't end up doing anything, but we gained a bomb out of it. We. I have an idea. We're gonna do this. Okay. Humbling bundle. You're amazing. This time, I was actually just talking to a coworker, coworker of mine who likes to, who's just started playing Isaac not long ago. Shit, that was dumb. Uh, about how he dislikes the self-sacrifice rooms, and I told him that they have their benefits. I've used one this run, and it had its benefits. This doesn't help me so much. Tele pills could be good, but Joker pills, Joker pills. <sighs> that was almost dumb. I mean, well, it was dumb, but it was almost dumber. Oop. 
give me the stars card. But we don't have a... Yeah, Joker. Dark Bomb. Ooh. We have a lot of hearts laying around. Dark Bomb. Come on, Dark Bomb. Let me feed you the hearts of my fallen warriors. That self-sacrifice room did not have hearts in it. Disappointing. If we get hurt here, we do damage to everything. If we don't get hurt here, we could possibly get a black heart. Thank you, sir. Not... Didn't really have a point. I was kind of actually hoping for, uh... Oh, that's a super secret room chance. That has the, uh... Mm. One more soul heart, please. Alright. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're running long, but we're doing good. Bombs, it's actually great. That'll help against the mom fight. Keys. Got so many keys. We have so many keys. Oh, I didn't have momentum. Are you kidding me? I backed up and ran forward. I backed it up and gave it back to her. Like that one song I heard at one point in my life. myself. Oh, I, I felt it happen. I felt it right as it happened. Thank you, Balls of Steel. God damn it. There we go. dumb idea. Unless it drops a heart. Drop a full heart and I'll, I'll forgive you for being a dumb rune. Brr. Brr. Alright, so we could still do this. Are we running long? Yes. Are we running long for good reason? No. But we can do it. Uh, stars card. Not really a purpose for that, but I'll take it. That was dumb. That was dumb. That's freaking tinted rock really just drop a goddamn keys and bombs. I'll I'll take I'll take the bombs with the keys, really. Oh god, I'm like I'm super engaged. <laughs> I'm like super engaged in this fight right now. <laughs> God damn it. I can't afford to lose this now. Ooh, ooh, that was bad. Ugh! <laughs> 
It doesn't help that it. Ooh! Okay, I have to not stop moving, like ever. Goodness! Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the highbrow challenge. We've officially unlocked the arguably the best rune of the game, the Rune Yera. Yay! Oh my god, my heart is pounding right now. Oh my god, I showcased some serious Isaac skill there that I didn't even know I had. I burrowed deep into my uh into my, my history as an Isaac player and I found that player I used to be who was good at the game and didn't do, do stupid shit. Oh god. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you enjoyed the long-ass video that it ended up becoming, but, you know, not everybody, not every video can be as short as computer savvy or, uh, slow roll. Some of these are gonna be really long. So, thank you so much for watching, my name is Penta Hybrid, and until the next time on Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Xbox One Edition, I'll catch you later.